This is my steam generator which broke and gave an error of 5. This error means that it's not getting enough water or the unit is overheating. Since my builders did not put a shutoff valve on the water line, I had to do that first. So I can work on a unit without having a flood in the house. So I sweated the copper steam pipe and started by removing the unit out of the closet so I can work on it. When I took it apart, I noticed that there was a foam that was fiberglass insulation which was terribly soaked. So I had to dry it, but then I decided to just buy a new one. Here you can see the inside of the unit which has the little steam unit that generates steam and the electronics. And you can see how much corrosion there is at the what's called the float switch and also the thermal switch. Now when I started working I took these off by yanking them and I shouldn't have done that because these were solders. If I'd known that they were threaded this way I would have just taken them from the threads. But anyway I resoldered them later on. This is after I took the steam unit out, and this is the wet base of this unit. So here it is, we take the five nuts off to be able to get inside that unit, and there's a plunger, much like the one in your toilet. And that one allows the water to go, and when the level of the water goes up to a certain level, it stops the water inflow to the unit. There's also, you can see the white switch in the back, and that's called the float switch. When the water level gets to a certain level, it floats and makes contact. You may notice there's some lime deposits on there, and I used uh, vinegar, wash, and then lime away a little bit, and then uh, baking soda to make sure it's not acidic. Maybe it's overkill with the lime away, but nonetheless, it looks pretty clean, and I think that was good. Then I unthreaded the float switch, and you could see it here. The threads aren't very good, but I tested it, and it seemed to be working at first, but it wasn't actually in the end. But the problem was this thread. The thread had a lot of corrosion, and you could see it here, even the light can go through it. And I needed to somehow fix that, because otherwise it would leak. This is the view from the inside of the unit. You could see the hole on top here with the light, you can see it even better. So I used the epoxy putty to put it on the inside of the unit, and to be able to block that hole. Then using yellow tube pipe thread sealant number 5, I threaded the float switch into the unit. When I tested it, it gave me zero at first ohms and then it goes to 38. It's random, it's erratic, and I think that it should be zero ohms, it should be a loop circle. Um, and when I put it on the um, sounding alarm, it does work, but it's not reading zero. To test the seal of this pipe third sealant, I filled up the tank with water and then checked if there are any leaks. And I didn't find any leaks. This is right now uh, no circuit completed, but when I turn the unit over, and now it's reading 8 ohms as opposed to um, 40 ohms. So maybe that's okay. We're going to test the unit next. The multimeter is reading open circuit at the float switch and the thermo uh, sensor, thermal sensor. Uh, that's because the float switch is not floating. So I'm going to turn on the water right here hopefully nothing leaks and at some point there's going to be enough water so that the float switch is going to float and give me a signal beeping hopefully when it gets full enough there you go I'm going to run it I hear steam As you can see, the float switch threads leaked in several areas, so I got myself a new float switch and tried this again. This time I only used Teflon tape and an O-ring, and then I threaded this float switch into the unit and tried to see if it leaks by just filling the tank with water, and unfortunately it leaked. Upon close examination, I noticed that the female threads of the unit are corroded in more than one place and actually both in the front and the back so I proceeded to putty the front really well and carving out new threads for it. I also reinforced the inside nut with more putty to make sure there's no path for the water. Then I used Teflon tape and an o-ring and also used some pipe thread sealant. Then I inserted the float switch in there and tightened it and luckily it was lined up perfectly well. And I reinforced the outside with some silicone to make sure it doesn't leak. Here's a view of the inside. I know the pipe thread sealant leaked a bit, but that's okay. Here's the water test, and it passed, and luckily no leaks. 
So then I proceeded to connect it electrically. I've got the float switch in series with the thermal switch. I'm going to tap the float switch here. And sure enough, 0.2, that's good. Put back together. All right, folks, let's test the, the float switch by turning on the water. Yeah, there it is, perfect. And so we have to fix that leak here. And again, I'm hoping to see no leak on that side, and I don't see any. I think the main leak is just here and here. Test number three, turning the water. No leaks here, and that's pretty good. Time to fire it up. That's the sound I want to hear. I want to make sure there are no leaks anywhere. I don't see any here. I, I hear the water boiling. Just want to check that this joint is okay. No leaks here. No leaks there. And I think we got steam. Success. Then it was time to put it all back together. So I started with the foam. I cradled the steam unit and inserted it. You have to make sure everything is flush and here's the steam head unit. And then I pipe threaded this pipe with blue Teflon instead. And then I put the 240 volts connections. Unfortunately, I rushed to put this pipe. I should have put the front panel first. So I had to remove part of that pipe so to put the front panel and then put the pipe back on. And here's the assembled unit. Then I cleaned the two pipes really well and soldered them together and then here is the result. This is hopefully the last time I'll try it. It's all closed up, fired up, water. Let go. Seems like it's boiling. There's no leak here, there's no leak anywhere. I hear the steam. I don't know, necessarily see anything leaking here. I think this is good. I think it's working. All right, thank you. That's it, folks.